Welcome into today's new notebook. We have a little bit of a different scenery today, um, but with me I have Elise and she's here with Cat's Playhouse here to talk about their upcoming play that they've been working so hard on. Thank you so much for being here and joining me today. Awesome, thanks for having me. Um, so who is Cat's Playhouse? So Cat's Playhouse is a local theater that um, does both children and adults uh, theatrical productions. And uh, yeah, they've been around for a long time, so yeah. <laughs> um, and can you tell me about, it's Talent for a Murder that y'all yes. are performing. Can you tell me a little bit about the play? Yes, so it's a murder mystery, and uh, the main character is Anne Royce McLean, and she is a best-selling mystery writer. And she has, uh, she invites her family over to celebrate her birthday with her, and well, a murder occurs, and so you have to figure out who did it. I love the whodunits. Yes. <laughs> um, when and where is this all taking place? Friday night, and it's going to be uh, both Friday and Saturday night at 7.30, and Sunday matinee at 2.30. Doors open at 7 and 2. And Cat's Playhouse is at uh, 2257 34th Street, and tickets are $20 for adults and $15 for seniors and students. And a new, a you know, you have every all your actors are all different ages. Um, is this a uh, appropriate show to take? You know, like younger kids to, or what would you say would be the rating on this? I would say this one is more PG thirteen because there are some like you know a, more adult kind of themes for older kids in it, and you know there is murder, so you know some things may be kind of scary for young kids. All right. Well, is there anything else about Cat's Playhouse? Um, or the show or anything else that you want to mention before we go to break? Um, so they are raising money for their marquee to restore it because, you know, it's uh, seen some damage over the years. So if you would like to maybe donate for that, the, you can go to the website, which is uh, cats-playhouse.com and donate for it. All right. Well, if you want more information on this event, we have a link to their website on our website, kcbd.com, in the community news section there. You can also purchase tickets for this event. Stay with us. We'll be right back after this break.